Hello, I am Dr. Kodladi Surendra Shetty, Senior Spine Surgeon at Spine Care Hospital, Magdi Road, Rajajinagar, Bangalore. Lower back pain is usually produced by degenerated disc disease. That means the disc which is a soft gelatinous structure in between the bones. So we have multiple discs between the two vertebrae, there is one disc. So if when it gets degenerated, that means it becomes weak because of the aging or because of the repeated stress injury. So when it becomes weak, it degenerates or you can say it becomes aged or it becomes weak. So when it becomes weak, it collapses. So it cannot, the normal disc is to I mean, take the load of the body. But degenerated disc cannot take the load of the body. That is why it collapses. So suppose the disc which is supposed to be of this height, it collapses like this. So when the vertical dimension decreases, the horizontal dimension increases. So when the horizontal dimension increases, it stretches the outer layer of the disc, which are having the nerve cells. So when they get stretched, you feel pain. So that is why if you sit for longer time, it is stretched more. That is why as the patient sits for longer time, so he gets more and more pain. This is called sitting intolerance. So this is why the patients usually have, when they sit for longer time, they have pain. If they sit for only 5 minutes, 10 minutes, not much of pain. But if they sit for half an hour, one hour, then the pain gradually increases so that they cannot bear that pain, they have to get up from there. So this is the regular symptoms of the degenerated disc disease and lower back pain. But lower back pain is not only because of this, there are other causes also like arthritis of the spine, spondylarthritis what we call, or even in weakness of the bone like osteoporosis when the bone becomes very weak just like the disc bone is also carrying the load of the body so if it is very weak if it is too much osteoporotic then you can have pain because of that also so there are other reasons like infections tuberculosis of the spine or sometimes even malignancies or cancers of the spine but these are rare but commonest cause is the degenerated disc disease and osteoporosis and arthritis of the spine.